biotechnicians welcome back again to another video so let's talk about something very interesting for today because many viewers are requesting for asking for this food technology scope or food science industry so if you are someone who wanted to enter into a food science sector then this video is definitely going to help you i'll be talking about what are the government jobs everything that is related to this and what are the private opportunity uh, in india as well as abroad i'm going to talk about it i'm going to give you a scenario how this uh, food sector is growing drastically globally as well as in india so let's discuss the complete topic in detail so now let's talk about the complete food technology and food industry suppose if you are doing bsc in food sciences or msc in food sciences or if you have done some diploma in food sciences then do you have an opportunity in india and abroad yes you have so i'll be talking about so if you are looking for this video then this video is definitely going to help you so first let's talk about what is the demand of this food technology or food sciences globally as well as in india yes so this is the future of the food industry it's from the article you can see food tech shows how technology can improve the world how it grows and produces so you can see here according to the us the food industry is worth more than 1 dollar trillion in the us gross domestic product gdp they are talking about which means i can say that the food industry is growing not only in india globally it's going to grow drastically we can say now the question come for us is what's the impact of the food science or food technology in india so global food tech market worth you can see it here in 2019 almost 220 us dollars according to a research paper it is believed that just see the gradual uh, increase from 220 us dollars to 342 us dollars by 2027 which means i can say that food technology and food science of course we know uh, whatever you take it in the field of food will never going to dim, dim, diminish we can say because it's about food so survival happens because of a food so taking up a job in the food sector is always a safer side so what is this food technology of food science is actually impacting you can see of course we have come to a lot of gmo genetically modified crops we have and now we started using drones to analyze and when we talk in case of poultry farming or meat industry technology now we started using uh, so many uh, impact of this food technology and crop monitoring with the help of drones we are doing and there are a lot of 3d food printers yes we have come up with using lot of ai in the food sector also so definitely food technology is going to be a gradual growth now the next question come for us is what about india as yes, we know about the global scenario but if i'm going to do a food science job in india is it going to be worthwhile for so long if you're going to ask me that question then i'm going to say yes because india is holding sixth largest food and grocery market in the entire world just imagine sixth largest which means if you're going to get a job in india it's definitely going to help you a lot so you can take up food sector jobs definitely in india as well as abroad the next benefit for all of you of course it's going to be food technology jobs or food science industry job job security is going to be very great enough because you know it's about food so you have lot of opportunity even if you don't have one opportunity in one company or in a sector you can keep on moving to many many places so job security is going to be maximum and diverse environment you don't have to work in one place only you can work on different different places and salary possibility is also maximum and travel opportunity is also maximum over there so you can take up food science or food career in your life next one salary prospects so i'm going to talk about the salary very detail so if we talk in case of india you can see so i'm talking about food technologist so you can see the average base salary is going to be almost 4 lakh for one year this is for freshers if you have studied your bsc msc or btech in food technology or mtech in food technology or you have done your life sciences in any of the field with diploma in food sciences or you had some internships in fss ai or fci or wherever it is then you can definitely go for food science sector so this is the average salary of a food technologist in india now the next question come for us is in india where do i have to go for a food science job so i'm going to talk about the cities of course mumbai is very very well versed so you can start off with mumbai chennai bhubaneswar kolkata hyderabad bangalore 
Pune and Ahmedabad. So to summarize this one, I can say Mumbai has almost 9 lakh salary per month, per year. And when we compare it with Pune and Bangalore, next come Pune, Bangalore and Kolkata. So you can definitely go for Mumbai, Bangalore, Pune, Kolkata. Along with that, you can go for Chennai. So these are some of the top areas where food science departments are working really well enough the salary package is very very great so you can go for it the next comes suppose if you're someone who's looking for an opportunity abroad i'll be talking about the countries also if you talk in case of usa you can see for one year sixty-seven thousand us dollars you're going to get for one year which is a very gradual a great salary that we can say in usa where you can uh, live a very privileged life also the next one, private sectors. Yes, I'm going to talk about some of the companies where you can go. Uh, I've listed a few of the designations uh, which is available. So in Britannia, Quality Assurance Manager, QEA Manager, 6.70 lakh for one year. And you can see the list over here. So this is all about the food technologist in different company and QA in different companies. And the next comes public sector. This is very important. We have a separate video on food inspector, how to become a food inspector in India, which is a government position. So I've, I've talked about FSS AI, JE and FAE examination and how to become a food inspector through FCI and also through UPSC. You can look around the video. It will be really helpful. The next one, you can also become a food scientist or research scientist. And of course, if you want to enter into an academia, you can become an assistant professor in food science also. Okay. Now everything is done. Now let's look at the job profile. What are the job opportunities you have? You can enter into production department in any of the food science company or biotech company or biopharma company, either as QEA or QZ, any companies you can go for. You can also enter into research and development department. Yes, since it is food, you can go to many uh, research institutes or companies and you can work over there uh, in R&D department, new product and process development you can go in for. Marketing, if you would like to go for marketing and sales, definitely you can go for and procurement and supply chain management also you can go for. And I'm going to talk about the average salary of all these jobs. So these are some of the job profiles that are available in India, food technologist, quality control, food processing, food safety and R&D engineer, food manager and finally food inspector yes so when you want to become uh, enter into a food science department i would suggest usually you can go for food inspector because uh, when you go for some other company or if you start uh, as a government professional then you will be getting rupees 40000 per month but if you have an experience after writing jn fae examination you even get rupees 2 lakh for one month so food inspector if you are a fresher definitely you can go and prepare for this examination which is very very helpful so this is about the job profile now the next question if i'm trying for some companies what are the companies website that i have to go in for then this is for you you can take a screenshot if you want so i've listed all the companies which are top recruiters for food science candidate from mtr Dabur, gogrich pepsico britannia coca-cola nestle itc of course, Amul Agro and then there are Hindustan Lever Limited, Cadbury and there are many, many more. So you can just take a screenshot. These are some of the top recruiters who takes people who have food science background. It might be diploma, certification, master's, bachelor's, any of these things. The most important thing is I want to enter into a food science career but i don't want to go for private jobs then if you're someone then this is for you so jobs in government of india how you can go as i already mentioned if you have written gate examination you can go for fci so you can enter into food corporation of india and you can work as a research scientist or research any of the assistant positions you can go for and next is food safety and standard authority of india through this you can write jae exam and fae exam and you can become a food inspector which almost if you have an experience you'll get rupees two lakh for one uh, year we can say you are going to get that and uh, uh, two lakh for one month and bureau of indian standard you can also enter it is bis and ministry of agriculture ministry of health and family welfare food processing industry there are three ministries where you can go in for you can definitely go and these are some of the research institute very important bark everybody know these are some of the institutes where you can go and become a research scientist or researcher or research assistant project assistant whatever it is you can enter as a government professional of course central food laboratories state food laboratories you can go for it 
definitely and state government also you can become a food safety officer i'm not talking about the food inspector food inspector can happen through upsc fss ai fci and this is state government through food safety officer or food inspector like suppose if you talk in case of karnataka karnataka you can become food safety officer and food inspector you can definitely go for and if you want to become a scientist or assistant professor then you can go for cftri in mysore iicpt dfrl nif tm you can become a scientist or even an assistant professor or else if you are someone who would like to go for agriculture field then definitely you can go for icar ars scientist also you can go i i suggest you to please take a screenshot of this one because this is definitely going to help you this is government jobs very specifically for food science graduate okay now the next question comes for us is i would like to go in for abroad but i want to know which are the countries do have to prefer then this is for you so you can see from usa very specifically if i start off i'll say from canada because canada according to our indian rupee you can see the range salary here and usa australia uk malaysia france ireland and hong kong so these are some of the countries that you can go in for your food science career so food science if i have to talk about i would definitely say this is going to be gradually increasing and without food it's impossible so this job will always be stagnant even for many many years more than 20 30 years this is the safest job i can say so look around the opportunity that you have if you'd like to know about the food science internship or the job opportunities we will always be posting in our biotechnica website or newsletters you'll be getting it please stay connected over there and click on to the subscribe button so that we make a lot of efforts to make all this for you so one thing you would like to do is please subscribe to our uh, channel and also do like share and subscribe to it thank you all of you for your time